welcome to another live stream watch long reaction tonight we are watching reacting to both as we're speaking columbus crew versus tigres uanl and new england versus club america we're doing both at the same time over here because well they're both at eight and this one was supposed to be at eight so this one no they didn't switch it to 11 i just put it at 10 just in case it didn't start, but it did. So I'm going to go delete the other one. I told you that's, I only put it at 10 because I thought maybe when knowing the severe weather. The only one that we're live for is this. It's on both. We're doing both at the same time, but just give me a second. With that being said, let me go delete this one. Delete. I know. There we go. So no problems. We're here for both. Oh, wait. We're here for both. New England games on FS2. Columbus is on FS1. Two minutes in. Jason Russell Rowe plays it in. Shot blocked away. And there's possibly a handball there. Who's winning the Premier League for me? I got Liverpool. All right. With that being said, starting 11s are as follows. We'll start with the crew Tigres match. Possible penalty here. In goal, we got Patrick Schulte, the back five, Darlington Nagby, Mo Farsi, Evgen Shiberko, Stephen Marrero, Malti Amundsen, the midfield three, Diego Rossi, nope, it's a throw-in, Diego Rossi, Yaya Boa, Aiden Morris, the front two, Jason Russell Rowe, Marino, Hinestroza, no Cucho, even on the bench. Starting 11 for Tigres in goal, Carlos Rodriguez, the back four, Samir Caetano, Jesus Angulo, Fernando Gorehan, Juan Brunetta. Now that doesn't even make sense. Javier Aquino, Sebastian Fierro. There we go. That's better. Guido Pizarro, Diego Lainez, Marcelo Flores, Juan Brunetta, Fernando Gorehan, Andre Pierre Gignac. That is the Columbus 11. The 11 of the game we're actually doing live, or what this is under. New England versus America. New England Revolution contra Club America. In goal, we got Earl Edwards Jr., the back five, and Dewan Jones, Ryan Spaulding, Jonathan Mensa, Henry Kessler, Dave Romney, midfield five, Nacho Heel, Carles Heel, Matt Polster, Thomas Chancalai, Giacomo Vrioni. Club America. In goal, we got Luis Malagon, the back four, Israel Reyes, Sebastian Caceres, Christian Calderon, Igor Lichnowski. Midfield three, Richard Sanchez, Alvaro Fidalgo, Jonathan Dos Santos. Front three, Javaro De Rosen, Alejandro Zendeas, and Henry Martin. So there we go. We're ready to go here. And we got both going. Three minutes in, nil-nil, Seto Aceto, Hinestroza, Columbus going forward. Good. Where's the Tigres game? It's on FS1. I'm doing both at the same time. Thank the severe weather. I'm doing both at the same time. That's the one I'm talking about right now. FS1. FS2 is New England. They're both being shown, though, and I'm covering both. So, no, it's... I don't know if I'll do a double RSR, though. That I can't tell you. So, here we go. Talking to the ref is Tigres, wearing their blue. Columbus wearing yellow. That makes sense. Columbus will wear black next week. Tigres will wear yellow next week. I can't believe this. It's called severe weather. You're lucky the stadium didn't get raised by a tornado with how bad the synoptics looked. Things went south of Columbus pretty much. I was, I was watching. Don't worry. They could have played it, but of course you got to at least be careful about the fact there was a tornado watch till now. Why are they both at the same time? One should be at 1 a.m. No, that would be stupid. I would definitely only be doing one. I did. I got that done already. This one's about to kick off. So they knew this was going to be 8 o'clock. So it's a couple of minutes ahead. But we can do it the way it is. Rossi with a free kick. Shot off the wall. Kick off here in minutes. This one's about 8 minutes ahead. Or 5 minutes ahead. I know. We know. But we're doing both games. I'm doing both games. Because I'm still covering the T-Reds game. I was still going to cover it no matter what. 
I kind of wished it was tomorrow, but hey, we'll do a double, an advertised double. Playing forward is Columbus. At least they're retaining the ball. That's the good news. Bad news, they don't have Cucho. What do you mean, bottom of Liga Mekis? Yeah, the strong storm. Yeah, nothing happened to Columbus per se, but they were still under the gun. So, of course, I think it was good for them to push it. But nothing really happened in Columbus. Maybe some lightning in the outer area. We'll be covering both tomorrow. No worries about what, well, I don't think it'll be like this, no. No, I think we're going to do RSR for both. We'll see. Tigres going forward. Maybe it will just be the New England game, but since they're both ending at the same time, maybe I will do a double RSR. Who knows? We'll see. New England in their navy blue. Amerika in their yellow. Good for him. Possible. He, he broke a team rule. That's as much as I know. He broke a team rule. That's as much as I know. And we're off. Playing forward. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get this one going. I'm honestly shocked. I'm not going to lie. Cornejo's the referee in the New England America game. I'm honestly shocked. Monterey lost their unbeaten streak against Chivas. Chivas starts playing good now. Crazy. Mm. Tigres versus Columbus are fighting for the right to play the winner of Monterey, Miami. New England and America are fighting for the right to play the winner of Pachuca Herediano, which I think we know who that's going to be. <laughs> I think we know damn well who the semifinal is going to be on that side of the bracket. America Pachuca. Herediano probably has a better chance in New England, if I'm being totally honest. At least they beat a Mexican team. Cucho was left off the Columbus Crew match day roster against Tigres. It's the second game in a row. Wilfred Nancy said his absence was a team policy. Didn't answer follow-ups. Exactly. Team rule. He broke. That's all we know. Uh, buenos noches. Buenos noches. Two minutes in, eight minutes in. So we're about six minutes behind on the uh, New England match. Not that it started. Not that it started at the same time. It started six minutes later. So... This should hit full time after this, which normally is the way it would have went had there been no severe weather or possibility. Yaboa crosses over. Rossi, ooh, gets pickpocketed. Playing forward. Is it raining in the Northeast too? Guess it's just rain. Same system that we got hit with last night was what went through, well, in the morning went through, and then it re-strengthened. Then the cold front happened. Lots of jerseys. No. It's a customized. This was the year he left. I got this the year he left. <laughs> I got this the year he left. So, no. Yep, it's going to get snowy. Last time that happened, New England was wishing they were playing yet tomorrow. Last time they had a game against a Mexican team in a snowstorm, they won the first leg. And then they lost in Mexico on penalties. Hey, it worked out for them the first leg, though. <laughs> Three minutes in, nil-nil. Settle was settled on both. What's your prediction? Two-nil. For New England versus Club America, I say three. Here, one-nil Columbus. WrestleMania this weekend. And sadly for Risk Lander, he ain't getting to watch long for night one or two. But I'll watch night two, though. So I'll watch night two. Man, he was he was probably off the mark. Like, he was probably over the moon when Costa Rica was beating Argentina for that 30-minute span. He thought he got me. <laughs> he thought he got me. No. Four minutes, nil-nil. You really wanted that watch long, I know. Had you rooting for Costa Rica. 
Hell, even when it was 1-1, I was like, maybe they'll do penalties. So what, like a 45-minute span, including the halftime? You were over the moon. I don't think Costa Rica would have won on penalties, but, you know, whatever. 11th minute. Nothing so far in the Club America New England match. New England actually has a good bit of the ball. Are they actually playing good? No. No, it's a team rule he broke. That's why he's not on the roster. He's not on the roster because he broke a team rule. Now, what that team rule was, I don't know. We don't know. All Will Fernandes said is he broke a team rule and got dropped for two games. Hopefully that doesn't bite Columbus in the ass. I have them winning this whole tournament. All my full predictions. I We don't know. All we know is he broke a team rule. Could that be... Could that be, um, what's the word? Um, bleh, bleh, bleh. Uh, curfew broken? Possibly. Could that be some other rule? Maybe. Do I think it was drugs? No. Because if it was, it would either be the substance abuse policy through MLS. It wouldn't be a, a, subst a suspension from the team. Or a, it would be a substance abuse policy suspension. And we would know how long you'd be suspended. So I don't think it's drugs. See, I don't think. Like, I mean, I will speculate a little bit from what I know. I would say no. I would think not. Because it would have been an MLS suspension. It would have been a doping suspension or a a substance abuse suspension through MLS. We would know if that was the case. So there wouldn't be a portion where the team handles it, then MLS comes in. No, it would be straight up. MLS, U.S. soccer comes in, gets them um, for either doping or substance abuse. So it's not. It's not. And if you tried to sweep it under the rug, the whole team would probably get in trouble if they did, if it did come out. So, so I don't think so. It's probably late to practice or team meeting or curfew, probably. I'm talking about the Federation. As I said, I'll say the word, I'll say the S word if it's Canada blank, US blank, Major League blank. I can't just call it Canada football or Major League football. That's not the name of the league or the federation. That just sounds stupid. I hate the word as much as you do. I hate the word soccer as much as you do. It makes me want to puke. But I have to say it sometimes. I have to say it sometimes. Because that's the way these things were named. Except like half the teams in the league are called football clubs. So I don't know. Or club de football. So I don't know. I'm saying it. Because I'm telling you, sometimes it's unavoidable. And I'm not going to puke on camera either. I guess you're in Ohio. Whatever be changed to football, I hope so. I wish so too, but how are we doing, Winvo? I wish so, too, that it's changed to football. Ugh. I mean, they already got French commentators and Spanish commentators. Why do they need AI? Portuguese, I get. 15th minute. Well, yeah, that sounds about like where this thread is in. So, yeah, there you go. Copa Libertadores was debuting today. Yep. Yeah, and then they stopped saying it when the Americans started saying it. 15th minute, nil, nil. And Australians, I guess. Yeah, I guess they still chapped about the Revolutionary War. Fifteenth minute. Oh, good clearance. That's out for a Columbus corner. Have you watched any MLB yet? Yes. I watched two Jays games over the weekend, opening day and Friday. I watched the Cardinals on Sunday. 
I did not watch the Jays get no hits. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I watched a couple games over the weekend. <laughs> maybe, maybe like if half your clubs are called football club, maybe it's football. You know, sixteenth minute cross in. I don't know though. Like if there's Toronto FC, Atlanta United FC. Or Club de Football. Maybe it's football. FC Cincinnati. Hell, the crew don't even have Columbus Crew SC as their name anymore. It's just Columbus Crew. It would have been Crew SC, but people got pissed about that. Do you remember that one? Six, speaking of the crew, do we remember that one? Playing forward is the crew. 16 minutes in, 10 minutes here. America. Rebound over the bar. Cross in. Henestroza. Henestroza cross. And it doesn't get directed into the net. I mean, it's still the same logo, but it's not Crew SC. It's still Columbus Crew. I don't think it was the name that pissed people off, though. I think it was the logo. And then they just changed the name back. Pretty much. Hmm. 17th minute. But again, Paul's, Paul, or part of my argument is, is you only call Italian football calcio. Honestly, I think that would be even more crazy if I said Canada calcio. Actually, no. It may work for Canada, considering with all the Italian diaspora in that, in that country. It may work. U.S. Calcio, though, no. Unless you're in Jersey, which I'm not from Jersey. <laughs> not from Jersey. 11 minutes, nil-nil. The America New England game. Goal! 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 Dines! Andre Pierre Gignac! Out of nowhere! Out of nowhere! Out of nowhere! Gignac! With a header. Wow. 18 minute, 1 nil. Columbus down. Cross into the box. Gignac with a glancing header out of nowhere. 1 nil, Tires. Cero a uno. Who else but Gignac? Who else but Gignac? Nothing in the New England game. Still nil-nil. I thought he was still 38. One turned turn 39. Probably very recently. Maybe they do need Cucho. What did I say? They still got time, though, but there is an away goal for Tigres. But at least have Diego Rossi, you know, and Marino Henestroza. It's not like the only person they have is Cucho. 13th minute, nil nil, cero a cero, revolution contra America. Nothing there. Do we ever get a full match on FS1 with, comment with AI, AI commentary? Uh, no. I don't think Fox would go that far. <sighs> But if that means we don't have to listen to Stu Holden, I'm, I'm totally fine with it, though. Beta! Beta mail! Beta mail! Cleared out. December 5th, 1985. Oh, so he won't be uh, 39 until December. Possibly. One soccer show in New England. Hmm, because that one wasn't rain delayed, probably. New York City 2 4, Red Bull, or 4, Red Bull 2 2. Ugh. 
Well, I guess New York is blue. Open cup, of course. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yep, open cup. Yep. New York is blue. Over the top. Rossi! Rossi! And he just gets too much of a touch on it. Will not go in. It's Moa Do. Oh, tonight it's Moa Do? Good. Uh, he had a dream. 5 2. I know, I saw. They did. Objectively, yes, they had a sorry ass performance. Uh, not objectively, I'm laughing my ass off. Thank you very much. 21st minute, nil one, cero uno tires. 15th minute, nil nil, cero a cero. Cross in, clearance out. This game's going to get. Tigres might just be taking the front foot. Tachira, nil nil, River Plate. Honestly, I'm shocked it's nil nil. Yeah, I am shocked. River will end up winning. It's only halftime. They'll end up winning. Edwards plays before. I can't believe Columbus conceded before New England did. It's payback for U.S. Open Cup. Here comes Club America. Top of the box. Fidalgo. Quinones plays up. Chance. Shot. Go. 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 Mi bomba! Henry Martin! Mi bomba! Goal! De Henry! Uno a cero! One nil! Boom! Good shot. The Mexican teams lead 1-0. Oh. Javaro with the assist. See the brain rot template used for Canada timeline? Uh, no, I don't think so. 23rd minute, 16th minute. The Mexican teams lead in both matches 1 0. Set a 1 0. Yep. And Javaro with the assist. 2 DNA enjoying it, I'm sure. I'm not surprised. I mean, I thought Columbus would do better, but then again, when you drop your striker for two games for breaking a team rule, you kind of deserve to lose. Well, I don't know why they're still doing that. Here's a chance shot blocked away. I mean, it's still embarrassing, even though we made the World Cup. Still embarrassing that happened. I mean, it still happened. So. Well. I mean, don't people still call Tigres an equipo chico? Even though they won a Champions League or Champions League and then still made the Club World Cup final? Like, I don't think they're equipo chico, but don't people still call them that? Which I don't think they should, but whatever. Pachuca, Monterey, who, love, who have won this competition like four times in the past 20 years. Well, Pachuca's making the semifinal. We know that. Why would they lose to Herediano? Monterey, on the other hand. Well, we'll see what happens with Miami. The refs might just help Miami. Which camp are you in? Schaffenberg starts for Canada or not? You know what? I say he should start. I'm in the camp if he should start, at least in the midfield. I mean, Oso, he was way too slow. Personally, we keep our front three. We put Schaffenberg in the midfield and let him go from there because he's also a pretty good midfielder. 
Also, my camp that I'm in is we should have never gone and seen you. We should have kept Schaffenberg. Or, well, both. Either way, we'll just keep both. I mean, Tyree Spicer is good, but he still don't shoot outside of the out of the box. I think Schaffenberg does. Schaffenberg has a thunderclap of foot. So, I'd say Veracruz, too. I think he'll be ready by tomorrow. If he doesn't play, I'll eat my hat. Davis was underwhelming last match for Bayern. He turned off his comments from Bayern fans, not responding to the transfer rumors to the media. He's going to Madrid. Henestrosa, he went down in the box. Dude, check that at least. Yeah, Veracruz. Tigres has no history, sadly. They're writing history this past decade, so they do have history. Just recent history. But it's history nonetheless. Twenty six minute. Oh, I know that. Well, who knows? Maybe Mazatlan has a good Leagues Cup run and gets the third place and gets in this tournament from that. Who knows? It's possible. Who wins? Miami or Monterey? I say Miami wins. I just have a feeling that it happens. That Miami's plot armor ruins Monterey's plot armor. Don't know if he'll start. He'll play a part tomorrow. Don't know if he'll start. Yeah. So I figured. I actually agree. 27th minute. I did not see the Premier League matches that played today, no. Or the Champions League matches, for that matter. I was... Speaking of, let's check those scores, by the way. Because it is Tuesday, right? Check those scores. Or the, uh, of course, you wait for matches. Is Miami going to sign Neymar? Probably. Corner for Tigres. UEFA Champions League. Or wait, is it next week? I could have sworn the UEFA Champions League was back this week. No, it's next week and then the 17th. My bad. I mean, his grandfather played there, so... Yeah, Forrest won. Yep, it's the ninth and oh, so we're a week ahead. I get it. All right. They started these week ahead. Cross in, shot, blocked away. 28th minute, Columbus, Henestrosa. Shot. Good defensive play. People call him Tigres Equipo Chico or haters ever since Jinyak and Nawel got there. They started a dynasty. Exactly. I could have sworn there were UEFA Champions League games today. Maybe that's why they weren't on CBS. Because there was never any games today. I could swear one of the games were on big CBS. Hmm. Or one of them would be. All right, there we go. 23rd minute in the New England America game, nil one, set a uno header. Yeah, I know. I just looked. I realized that. I thought CONCACAF was going to have their quarterfinals the same week or start their quarterfinals the same week UEFA did. I didn't know we were a week ahead. <laughs> Big save there. Tigres are doing what they what they're doing should be acknowledged 100%. People forget not any of their history when they were fighting relegation. Their city rivals sent them to the second division. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about shaving your hair. I don't think you have to worry about shaving your hair. Good crowd. Uh, revolution game? Yes, that's probably because of all the America fans there. Columbus? No, but then again, there was a lot of severe weather that could have easily been... Uh, Saved. That was a loaded gun scenario. Luckily, though, nothing bad happened in the Columbus Metro. But, of course, south of that. Trust me, I was tracking it. Odos. Playing forward, 24th minute. Here it is, America. Shot, go! 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 Zendaras! Goal de America! Golazo! Golazo!
Alonso, Cerveros, Alejandro Zendeas, Alejandro Zendeas. If only you did that for the USA. Playing forward, Columbus defending well in the 30th minute, 25th minute goal over in the other game. Yep, New England's in trouble. The worst team in the league can't even find a way. Revs are done. I could have told you that even before this was played. With the way the timings are, it's good because that means I only have to cover the Tigres Columbus tie on Tuesday. Whether I'm at this house or at a hotel because I went to totality on Monday. Either way, we'll see. I'm not that far away that I guess it really doesn't matter. If I'd like drove 30 minutes to totality, but you know, who knows? To like Carbondale or whatever. Who knows though? Doesn't really matter. Can America beat the USMNT? No. 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 Do you think Cade stays in Mexico if the USA gets a permanent? If he stays in Mexico with a USA permanent striker role? No, he's more of a winger anyway. Now, Brandon Vasquez, on the other hand, well, Haji Wright did score two goals at the Nations League. But they're still looking for a number one striker. Shot! Rossi saved by Rodriguez. But he's a winger, so that doesn't even matter. <laughs> nope. New thumbnail? Or profile picture? Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I would agree with that. Strongest 2-0 over Grêmio. Okay, now that's even shocking. Even more shocking. What did Quinones do at the Nations League final? Pray tell. Owen Henry, pray tell. Can either of these players still play for Mexico? Brandon or Kay? No. No. I think they're older than 23, so that really changes it. Remember, you had doubts about Rodriguez, but he's pretty good. Oh, yeah, the goalkeeper. Yeah, I did have doubts, but he's actually, he's no, not well, but he's he's serviceable. He kind of has to be, or Tigres would be in trouble. He's a good backup. He's serviceable. He won't make you lose a game. That's at least what you want out of your backup. If they're playing, you don't want them to make you lose a game. Kate's like 20 or 21. Damn. Oh, yeah, he was in the U23 team. True. My bad. But Brandon's over 23. So one of them, Cade could flip if he doesn't get more uh, competitive call-ups. But I think the Gold Cup counts, and I think he played more than three games. I have to check, so I don't think he can anyway. I think the Gold Cup counts, and... Yeah, I agree with that. This year is Mexico's year. But that's probably a good thing. I mean, that's probably, well, not a good thing for us, but that's a good thing for uh, Montagliani. He probably wants a messy Club America final. Monterey Miami prediction. I say Miami wins 3 to 2 on aggregate. Messi and Suarez carry. Oh, and the rest do too. Yeah. <laughs> 35th minute, 1 0. Twenty nine thirty five. So when this one hits halftime, we'll take a break and then talk. Yeah, but even then, I don't think it matters because I think the Gold Cup counts as competitive call ups and he played more than three games. So I don't think you could flip anyway. I don't think you could flip anyway. And also, he's going to play at the Olympics, so probably going to be on the Olympic roster. Who got Gignac the assist or created it? I think Flores crossed the ball. Marcelo crossed the ball into the header. Linez. Oh, Linez. Ah, they're both Troncos anyway. Doesn't matter. Linez, there you go. 
It was one of the Troncos. It was one of the failed European Troncos. It was Linez instead of Flores. <laughs> They're both failed European Troncos. Doesn't really matter which one did it. <laughs> Does it really matter? I guess it does, but it's an assist anyway. Who gets the glory for assists unless you're Mitch Marner? I, that's a hockey joke, but it works. You know he has over 100 points. You know that, right? Yeah, well, like 70 assists. Do it in the playoffs. Which a lot of our April, the thing that makes April busy is going to be the Stanley Cup playoffs, by the way. So get ready for that. Uh, 36 minute. Flores is not a tronco. He he just started playing well for Tigres two weeks ago. <laughs> Good for him. I, I still think you're a tronco unless you can go full Cordova in the playoffs. The Ligia, thank you very much. Oh, and Champions Cup. Linez is a tronco, though. Henestroza, cross, shot. Nobody there. Man, Columbus is scuffling. 68th, 30, 37th minute. Hard to be a starter. Yeah, but what about Real Oviedo? <laughs> the man failed in La Liga too. <laughs> he shouldn't have done that. If he's so good, if he's so good, why did he fail in La Liga too? Forget the Arsenal part. I'll give you that. He probably wasn't going to make it there. I'll give you that. But how are you going to fail La Liga 2? If you're as good as they say you are. And just start playing well in Mexico. Yeah, Tronco. I say this as, a, as an America fan. A new line as would struggle. He left America too early. He had one good season. Unlike Edson, who was consistent for two years before going. I guess the Toronto Maple Leafs are similar to seasons. One have leaves falling in autumn, the other falls in spring. Leaves don't fall in spring. What? Okay. Good. Yes, favorite player favorite player right now, Adriana Leon, all time Christine Sinclair. Favorite club, Portland Timbers or Portland Thorns. I have a soft spot for the Timbers though. But the Portland Thorns is my favorite club because Toronto doesn't have a team. And there's a lot of Canadians. There's always been a lot of Canadians on the Thorns. So it just fits the Portland soft spot anyway. So there you go. Of course, National Team Canada. What'd you say? As far as I know, they're still in Europe. As far as I know, Alfonso Davis is going to go to Real Madrid. As far as I know, Stockdale should be playing at Chelsea. Actually, no, I don't want that for him, actually. No, no, no. I mean, he'll he'll make a lot of money. <laughs> I don't think that's good for us. Actually, you know what? No. Arsenal. Yeah, I saw that. Marcelo Flores played for the Arsenal Academy. At least Vela got to play first time, first team with Wenger's Arsenal. There's those are the differences. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll have some of what you're smoking. I'll have some of what you're smoking. That's funny. 39th minute, 33rd. 2 0 Clue America, 1 0 Tigres. They're ahead, time wise. I agree, but here's the problem Chelsea sucks. So he'd be <laughs> here's the problem. And I'm I mean, I'm a Chelsea supporter. I mean, they're my favorite Premier League team. Not that I give a shit really, but let's just say if I do, it's Chelsea, right? If I kind of do, you know, it's Chelsea, whatever. Chelsea's shit, okay? Ustakio would be left out to dry. Like he may do better in midfield than them too, which I think he would. He'd be left out to dry. The rest of the team would let him and Cole Palmer down every single week. It would be sad. Cole Palmer and Ustakio would be the only two. Actually, you know what? And Jordi Petrovic. That's it. 
And if they, but if they don't sell Connor, yeah, we'll put him in there. We'll put Connor Gallagher in there. Those are the only four good players. If they, if Ustakio was there, Cole, Connor, and Jordy Petrovich, that's it. The rest of them are shit. And they'll be hang out to dry every single week. Every single week. It's going to be sad. I mean, it's already happening to Cole and Connor. It's already happening to them right now. So, yeah. Just adding Stockio to that. Personally, I mean, yeah, I'd buy a new Stockio Chelsea jersey instantly if he went there. Of course I would. Because I'm a Stockio stan. Of course I would. Um, I don't want him to go to Chelsea, though, because I'm an Ustachio stan. Because I know Chelsea would hang him out to dry. I know that for sure. If Chelsea were good, I'd have no problem with it. They're not good. And they never will be good again. As long as Todd Bowley has his hands on him, they will never be good again. Never. Unless Jose Mourinho comes back. Then maybe. Or Antonio Conte. Or Maurizio Sarri. He may come back. It's worth a shot. 42nd minute. Vladdy didn't destroy his career. The blue billion pound bottle jobs. 42nd minute. Crew equalizing. Let's go. Let's see what it is. 43rd minute. I think I may do a double with how these games won. Here's a chance. Shot. Go. 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 Who else but Diego Rossi? Go. De Columbus. Uno. Uno. Diego Rossi. Who else but Rossi? With a banger of a shot. He had to put the team on his back, and he sure did. Forty second minute. Uno uno. Told you the crew had a better chance. If he comes back, yeah. Goal. Um. Estevalos haven't had like Roque, and Esteval is only 16 and priced at 11.1 million. Well, I don't think Chelsea would sign him. Mm, no. Exactly. 44th minute, 37th minute. We will go until this hits halftime. New England's in trouble. The crew, they needed to tie it. They tied it. Davies. <laughs> Ustakio. No, El Machine is better than Ustakio. I'll give you that one. Davies. No. 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 <laughs> FS1, Crew, FS2, New England. Bro plays in the Farmers League. Your prediction, Ryan, for the final of all three UEFA tournaments. I'm going to go with Champions League. I got <clears throat> Real Madrid versus... Arsenal on the other side of the bracket? I don't think it'll be Barca. I don't see Barca making the final. 45th minute. And it's halftime. They blow it. 10 seconds. Oh, no. It might be a sub. Man City versus PSG. Yeah, I can see that. Real Madrid. Real Madrid versus PSG. I say Real Madrid makes the final and wins it. That's my prediction. Uh, Liverpool versus Leverkusen final, the Europa League. I got Leverkusen winning. Um, Europa Conference, 
Three minutes of stopping time. I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> I have no idea. I saw the draw. I forgot about it, to be totally honest. Uh, Chelsea's going to lose their bogey team. Aston Villa's going to win it. Yeah, that, that's pretty much all I can say. Yeah, Aston Villa's going to win the Europa Conference League. I just don't know who they're going to play. Yeah, we'll go with it. Yeah, we'll go with that. Aston Villa's going to win. Wouldn't it be funny if Mbappe won the Champions League on his way out of Paris, though? It would be even funnier if it was against Real Madrid, his future team. Madrid versus PSG, Liverpool versus Leverkusen, and Villa. Yeah, that's pretty much what I think, yeah. Because he blew out his Achilles, never played as well. They loaned him out like three times. And he wanted, they didn't sell him to Bayern when he was at his highest level, which honestly they maybe should have done. Let's not act like Callum Hudson Adoy. He was good for half a season, then he blew out his Achilles. And then he was never good again. He was never the same again. So let's not act. Let's not act like he was going to be great. <laughs> he blew his Achilles. I think, what, the same week Ruben lost his cheek did? It was very close. Still won the Europa League. Man, I was afraid that they were injured, though. Like, going into that final, I'm like, shit. Our two best players this season both blew their Achilles. We're going to lose this final. And oh, wait, we're playing Unai Emery. Yeah, we're going to lose this final. And we didn't. I don't I don't know how we didn't. We won 4-1. Baku was a good night. I'm not going to lie. That was awesome. Mbappe beats Madrid in the final, eliminates Barca in the process. How can they not sign him? Talking about Madrid not signing him? I mean, Madrid's got him. But there you go. Bayer Leverkusen versus Liverpool, UEFA Europa League. That's the one I'm really rooting for. I want that final. Like that final, I'm covering it, of course. That would be a lot of, hopefully more views than expected out of a Europa game. Uh, that's, that's cinema, okay? That is cinema, except Javi Alonso won't coach Liverpool, though. Still cinema, though, because it's his former team. Maybe not as much considering he said he'd stay at Leverkusen, but it's still cinema. Halftime between Tigres and Columbus. It's 1-1. One, one. Uno, uno, miro tiempo. But it's still cinema because it's possible that he does end up Liverpool manager one day, just not next year, like two months later. Yeah, good bet. You got two over here, you got two over here. You'll probably get one more in both. That's in Villa versus Club Bruja. Yeah, I can see it. But yeah, Villa's winning that. With Unai Emery, you're crazy. Yeah, they're winning that. 43rd minute. We'll take a short break at the half when this half ends. And I think it looks like I will do a double RSR for both these games. I think I will do a double. Let's say, hypothetically, anything could happen in football. The Europa League can be more entertaining than the UCL final. Leverkusen versus Liverpool is better than Atletico versus Arsenal. Good point. Felt like a pretty long first half. True. And they're still slogging around. Oh, it's raining over there in New England, by the way. That's probably why I feel so long. Just so you know. Because it's hard to play football in the rain. If it's Super League, what games do you cover? I don't know. See, it's just good to do the uh, UEFA Finals. So, well, I do that. I mean, Super League doesn't have as big of games as the UEFA Finals, or at least in thought process. I mean, of course, a Super League Final probably would be, but it depends on how they play it. But the UEFA Finals are, like, prestigious. But that's because they've been built over years. Except the Conference League, but whatever. But that's still a UEFA final. They built that pretty quickly. So maybe the Super League can build like that. But, you know, they've been built over years. 
What do you think of the 2024 CCL final? Um, I think personally it's going to be Club America versus Miami. And Miami will find a way to win. I mean, the way Columbus is playing, Miami could beat them. Especially if the refs help. 45th minute over here. If I don't go to Kansas City for Canada and the Copa, I'm not going to any games. <laughs> it's possible. Who knows? Let me just say, if I'm not going to Kansas City, I said Columbus would win, but at least it seems like Messi and Suarez are playing well. If they're playing, Miami will win because the rest will make sure of that. But they're doing their part anyway. It's not like, you know, it's not like, it's not like they're not doing their part. They're doing their part, but the refs are doing their part too. But if they're not playing, then it would probably be Columbus. That is three minutes of stoppage time? Yep, over there in New England, it's three minutes of stoppage time. He's playing tomorrow, at least at some point. He may not start, but he's playing tomorrow. Tata said as much. Tata said as much. So, oh yeah, maybe I could go to a St. Louis Leagues Cup game if they're not playing on the same day as Toronto and there's a big one I want to go to. Possible. Yeah, that's a good point. That's possible. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Toronto and St. Louis meet each other in the final. It's going to be here. Because Toronto was absolutely horrible. Going to USA versus Uruguay and KC, Toluca to SKC, Toluca versus SKC. Nebraska, two-hour drive. Okay. Personally, but I really want to go to one of the Canada games in KC, whether it's the Arrowhead game or the Peru game at uh, Children Mercy Park. How we doing, Hans? Been a while. You're smoking 10,000 grams of crack. 47th minute. Vamos, America says not swole. Well, they're winning pretty easily, too. Not surprisingly. At all. Not surprisingly. At all. 47th minute. 1-1 between Columbus and Tigres at the half. Miro tiempo. Uno, uno. 47th minute. See, I only have two devices, and they're playing two Champs Cup games right now. So... Unless, I don't even know if my old iPad is charged up or even if it would show those games. Yeah, I think it's old enough that it doesn't have flash. So, yeah, yeah. Because the Patriots are owned by Robert Kraft, which the Revs are too. I have a Patriots jersey and they play in the same stadium. It's the best I could do. <laughs> it's the best I could do. If I could go to Mexico, which one would you really want to go to? Uh, damn. What a first half that was. I'm just glad you're drawing. I can't believe they dropped Cucho. But Rossi's putting the team on his back. Back to the question. 48th minute. That should be halftime. And it is halftime. 2-0. Cero dos. America. Miro tiempo. I'll answer the question, then we'll take a short break. Um, either Akron, Estadio Akron for Chivas, or Nemesio Diaz for Toluca. That's where I'd really want to go. I mean, Azteca has a lot of history, but Akron is just a beautiful stadium. Nemesio Diaz is a beautiful stadium. I'd choose either one of those before I choose Azteca. I know, that's, that's a very... That's a very unpopular opinion, but I would rather go to a Chivas game at a Cron or a Toluca game at Nemesio Diaz before I went to a Cruz Azul slash America game at Azteca. Now, if it's a national team game, I would have to go to the Azteca because at that point, it probably would be that level of a game. 
Or who knows, maybe it's a Malero and it's in the U.S. anyway. Jardine wasn't lying when he said he wanted to get the CONCAF Cup. I hope he makes it to the final. You do realize New England sucks, right? <laughs> you do realize you're dominating an absolute crappy team, right? Yeah, good to know. Wait till Pachuca comes around. And if you get Herediano, we're going to the final automatically. Pachuca could beat y'all. That's all I'm saying. Wait, that's a real tie. I'm not saying it's the final, but that's a real tie. Yep. I agree with that. With that being said, we'll take a short break. Talk about the stats. How long did I sleep yesterday? Mm, six hours? <laughs> Most of it after the storm. Most of it after the severe weather, but there you go. We'll take a short break. Talk about the stats, the half for both. Sit tight and be back. for the stats at the half. It's not Leagues Cup. MLS has always been an Elders League. That's why most of this tournament has always been fair. To look at the Premier League style and atmosphere is amazing. Azteca, you only go for the history and views from the seats as match. You also Monterey overall are better and newer. No. <laughs> no. I'm on a drug called Ryan Anderson. <laughs> I do not.
You have my brain for five minutes. Be like, dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard. There we go. Winning. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Winning. Mazatlan will win. No. Mazatlan, Mazatlan will win. No. I would say yes. I would say yes. Stats to the half. For Columbus Tigres, we got 56% possession to 44% possession. 14 shots to three. Oh, yeah. Columbus should win this game. So many shots. Six shots on goal to one. 262 accurate pass to 200. 90% to 87% pass accuracy. Two fouls to seven. Three corners to one. 291 pass to 230. 90% pass accuracy to 87. Seven throws to eight. One offside to two. Zero yellow cards. Zero. Zero red cards. Zero. And it's 1-1 one, one at the half. Uno, uno, miedo tiempo. New England versus America. We got 32% possession to 67% possession. One shot to six. Zero shots on goal to four. 136 accurate passes to 339. 78% pass accuracy to 91. Seven fouls to five. Two corners to one. One shot to six. Zero shots on goal to four. 175 passes to 373. 78% pass accuracy to 91. 12 throws to three. Zero offside to one. Two yellows to one. No red cards on either side. Zero. Nil two. Cero a dos. Miro tiempo. América. All right. So for Columbus Tigres, what I'm going to say is Columbus should be winning. They have the they have most of the ball, most of the shots, but they are down one. Or they're drawing. But Jinyak got a goal that nobody really expected him to get. Well, who am I kidding? It's Jinyak. But, again, as it is, they should be leading. New England versus America. America is just dominating New England. New England doesn't even look like they belong, but who are we kidding about? Who are we kidding? Of course, they look horrible. They're the worst team in the league in MLS. So, all you need is one lucky shot. That is a good point. So, yeah, America are going to cruise over New England, and hell, I don't think they're going to blow it on the road. Well, they can't because they got three away goals. But, with that being said, there you go. Tigres Columbus is more interesting, and we're off in the second half. 45th minute, we keep going. Still waiting for New England, Club America to start back, but we're back going in Columbus. Take about six minutes to get back over. With that being said, I think we'll just review both at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Crews are playing like Germany from 2014. They need Kucho on the next leg. I agree. Duh, winning. Oh. Huh. Okay. Wait. So we're talking about pork skins now? Or are we talking about Chicharito? Are we calling Chicharito a pork skin, or are we just talking about pork skins now? Whatever. What I'm more worried about is Pachuca. They always eliminate us in the playoffs. Exactly. Exactly. I told you, don't worry about New England. They absolutely suck. Worry about Pachuca. And if you get Herediano, you're lucky. Yeah, I figured. I hope so. I agree with that. T-Rose won't be good anymore either. Cross in. So enjoy being good, because when Jinyak leaves, they're going to suck again. It's like Tom Brady. I hate seeing the Patriots suck, but I shouldn't be surprised. Tigres fans, is going to be the same for you. Free kick for Columbus. It's going to be like that. Oh. Uh... What's my favorite game out of ones? I mean, I guess 
Morocco versus South Africa because it was a good game, and I'm not really a Morocco fan. I just know the Moroccans like me. Japan, Japan, Iraq hurt. Uh, Toronto Chivas still, that wound is still bleeding until we win a Champions Cup. So yeah, Morocco, South Africa. It was actually a good game. I was just shocked it went down the way it did. Free kick here for Columbus. So there you go. That didn't really break my heart. I agree with that. Cross in. Don't sleep on Pachuca. Almeida. Guillermo Almada has youngsters cooking this season. Experienced players. I agree. That's what I'm saying. Worry about them. They're actually good. I'm not saying Herediano's going to win. I'm saying if they do win, you will probably have a free pass to the final. If Herediano does somehow beat Pachuca. Now, if it's Pachuca versus Club America in the semifinals, it's going to be a good tie, but either team could win. River Plate 2-0. Oh, there we go, finally. I like it, to be honest. I like him as a heel. He's actually really awesome as a heel, to be honest. I like the way they're going with it. Might be my PTSD. I'd rather face Tigres or Rados than Pachuca. Well, that would be the final possibly. And that's a free kick again for Columbus. Rossi goes down 48th minute, 1-1. I would think we still got a couple of minutes. Still half time. Okay. I would think. Yeah, that's going to take about 10 years. But he still can't control the game. That will be pulled back for another free kick. They went too quickly. Agreed. Bellingham is better than the whole Barca squad. Lamine Yamal is a good player, but he's no Bellingham. No, I think it'll be better than Fati. Fati? Wow. I never saw it even when he was a good wonder kid. I certainly don't see it now. I think he was always overhyped. Yamal's actually talented. And that's the best thing I'll ever say about Barca. Yamal's actually talented. Hmm. So that's why I haven't been on uh, CBS Sports Golazo recently. Headed away. So that's why I haven't been on there recently. Good. There will be a Copa Interamericana sometime this year as well. We just don't know when. But they will face Fluminense in the semifinal when that happens. We don't know where it'll be, and we don't know when it will happen, but it will happen this year. We just don't know when in the year. But we'll cover it once it pops up. Don't worry. So that'd be stupid not to. Barca fans overhyped their youngsters. Their last proven winning mentality youngster was Thiago. But I think Yamal might be the next one. And he's 33 now. Those are embarrassing. Oh, and yeah, Canada over Honduras, or Canada losing to Honduras 8 1. That's embarrassing, too. Yeah, because nobody talks about Sheffield United, but that's probably why they wouldn't talk about him. Besides, he can't just keep a team out of relegation himself. Yeah, he would look bad because that team's bad. He looks good because Barcelona, well, has possible good players. I wouldn't say they're good, but they're possibly good. I mean, sometimes they look good. Not good enough to win anything, but, you know. 52nd minute, 1-1. One, one. Uno, uno. Okay, that's delusional. Ronald Araujo is a good player. He, Mbappe's still going to burn him, though. Joe Bellingham. Jude's brother, but it's probably because he's his brother. They talk about Job because he's Jude's brother. It's not because he plays. He Anywhere he played. He could play Forrest Green and they'd still talk about him. Because he's the brother. Will Grigg, oh. Will Griggs on fire. 
holy shit, that just transported me back to 2016. No, I do think they overhyped the youngsters, yeah, but Yamal's actually a good player. Like, I legit see, you know what, maybe they're right about this kid. I've seen them overhype their youngsters. I'm like, yeah, Fati doesn't seem that good. Pedri? Well, before he blew his knee out. Gavi? They overworked Pedri to hell, but until they did, he looked pretty good. Gavi? Eh. Eh. Maybe. I think they're actually right about this one. That's all I'm saying. I think they're actually right about this one. And I hate Barca, but I think they're actually right about this one. I mean, yeah, it's still a horrible hit rate, but I think they're right about this one. Yamal. I think they're right about him. They still overhype everybody else, but they're right about this one. That's all I'm saying. Gavi is so mid. Same for Pedri. Well, as I said, until Pedri blew his knee out, I still remember all the things he said about Ricky Pooch. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, we're really going shit on a star in the MLS? <laughs> Dude, Ricky Pooge is freaking saucy. What are we talking about? When he realized that the best he could do was be in the MLS and he fixed up his attitude right quickly, but he's very talented, you know. Let, let's not throw Ricky Pooge under the bus here. Let, let's not throw him under the bus here. He's good. I watch him every week. He's good. May not be as good as they thought he would be. He definitely fixed his uh he definitely fixed his um attitude and he's playing in MLS, but he's still a star in MLS though. He's saucy. I don't think he's as good as they thought he would be, but still. Maybe he is just an MLS star. I don't know. Maybe that is a ceiling. I don't know. I don't think that's as much of a derogatory ceiling, though, as you would act, though. I mean, Tiago Almada probably be going to Europe soon, you know. He's a star. Ricky Pooch is like Bojan since he decides to leave young, be destroying his career. I mean, Ricky Pooch can go back to Europe if he so chooses. I'm not saying he can't. Mm, Ricky Pooch. Ricky Pooch. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe they're drawn. Saw a channel that said Mbappe will consider himself the worst player in La Liga until he sees Lamine Yamal play. That would be Hazelou. <laughs> the worst player in La Liga would be Hazelou. Oh, I mean best. Well, yeah, that makes more sense. Now, now, worst player in the league is Hazelou. Pooch starts ahead of Romeo. He's so bad for Barca. Yeah, I'm surprised Barca didn't come back in for him, to be totally honest. It should be the second half by now in the other game. Yep, it is. Just started. Okay, boom. There we go. Hazelou isn't that bad. <laughs> Did you not see him be the worst striker in Premier League history? <laughs> yeah, no. He's horrible. <laughs> Reyes injury. Said baseball teams are drawing. Well, it technically is a draw. You know, I mean, a, a draw, a tie is a draw. It's the same word. 46 minute. A tie is a draw. It's the same. I mean, of course, you can't have a tie in baseball unless it's spring training, but you got my point. Cross in. That's got to be a free kick. Will Giroud sign for LAFC? Yes. Yes, it's confirmed. At this point, it's confirmed. So, yeah. The worst part is, is Kai Kamara is playing there. Like, going to be their starter for like three months. I'm so pissed Toronto didn't pick him up. Hazelou ain't the striker Madrid need, but he's better than Barca's next project, Roque. Well, I'd rather trust a project than somebody who we know is the worst striker in Premier League history. I mean, let's be honest. Bellingham and Vinicius, Vinicius Jr. are carrying Madrid. Just imagine how much better they'd be if Mbappe was there. Just imagine. Just imagine if Mbappe was there. 
well, I guess you don't have to imagine, but he still ain't great. He's still the same dude. He's not that good. He just does enough. I mean, it's a lot easier to score against your Levantes than Wigan or Sunderland. Like, the worst teams in La Liga are worse than the relegation teams in the Prem. I'm calling it now. Now, Serie A, on the other hand, no. I do think Salernitana is better than Sheffield. I do think that. You get my point, though. I, you get my point, though. My point is the relegation teams in La Liga. They'll be back next year anyway. Ochoa Salernitana. Yes. I think so. I think the La Liga relegation teams are crap. Like, they are legitimately crap. Sheffield could beat them all. Luton could definitely beat them all. Because Luton's actually somewhat good. It just doesn't go their way. Like, Luton is so unlucky. Like, seriously. Luton's a good team. They're just unlucky. I hate to tell you, but Luton... I enjoy watching Luton. I don't think they deserve to be in the relegation zone. I think they're just unlucky. It's sad. It really is. Mbappe, Vini, Rodrigo, Bellingham, Valverde, Kamavinga, Schwameni, Brahim, Davies, and Militao. They have an 11 for the next 5 to 10 years. Man, they're going to run roughshod on Europe. But I'm a Madrid fan, so I'm happy with it. Madrid, 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 hala Madrid, inaramas. Whatever. So what would happen if Ochoa played with San Diego? Probably better than Salernitana, but he's really just there for name value. <laughs> MLS would rip him apart. He's not Roman Berkey. He's definitely not Roman Berkey. But hey, at least he's not Rice and Boley. 60th minute. Shot blocked away off the free kick. Columbus dominating this half so far. I mean, really, what's there to say about this? Columbus is the interesting one. Still 2-0 between America and New England. So that's why it's a good thing this is a double. I could just basically... See, that's why it's a double. Because all I really got to say about this is the goals and say America curb stomp New England, which is pretty much the truth. This is the more interesting one. So it's good that I'm doing a double review. Mbappe, Naeem has hope. Mbappe comes to United. Believes every tweet and Insta post joking about Mbappe. Snub Madrid for Manchester. <laughs> he must have really loved April Fool's Day. Luton at home isn't easy. Look at Liverpool and Arsenal when they went to Kenilworth Road. Exactly. Now that, that might be the actual good name value player they get. But, um, yeah, me too. No, what I'm saying is, is the bottom three in La Liga are worse than the relegation teams in the Prem. My point being, it's a lot easier to score on the lower level teams in La Liga than the Prem's lower level teams. So, and honestly, that's who Hazelou's feasted on. Like his goals have came against crap teams, really crap teams. He's still the same synoptic striker that he was back at Stoke. He's just playing against way worse teams, or at least he's scoring against way worse teams. Like the bottom five in La Liga are crap. Like they are truly crap. Like, you put them against any other bottom five in the world, they probably lose. Even MLSs. They lose to Mazatlan. What are we doing here? Yeah, probably. Serie A and La Liga have teams have certain DNA that makes them more competitive than Premier League clubs and European international competitions. Yeah, this is true, but that's not what we were talking about. But, that, but I will say, Serie A's relegation teams are way tougher. Unlike La Liga's. So, I guess it works for Serie A in Italy as well, but they're just more of a defensive league anyway. So, um, I say Liverpool. Me too. Hopefully, it's Toronto one day. Yeah, it was definitely April Fool's Day. 
How much money is Vancouver getting when Davies has Real Madrid? Uh, I don't know the math. Like, I don't know the transfer fee, and it's, what, a 15% sell-on? Um, I'll do the math when it happens. Not that I'm good at math, but, you know, I'll do the math when it happens. Still 1-1, one, one, 63rd minute. 100%. Look at last season. Leeds and Leicester would smack Salernitana, or however you say it. That's not what I meant. <laughs> La Liga, yeah. They definitely would. Are there any chances of a comeback? For New England, no. Columbus is drawing, so I think they're already in the process of a comeback. Let me guess. Some no-name team in the middle of Europe. Let me guess. Some no-name team in the middle of Europe. Like, I don't know, Shakhtar, Copenhagen. Whoever that team was in Madrid's group, right? It was that team, right? It was that nobody team who was definitely finishing fourth, right? It was them. That's who he scored on, right? I don't care if it was home or away. That's who he scored on, right? The obvious fourth place team. Damn. Yeah, they were way more decent last season. Cross in. Seagrass still winning. No, it's 1-1. Timbers got Fernando Adi from Copenhagen. I'm just saying he's crap. That's all I'm saying. I don't hate him. I'm just saying he's crap. That's all I'm saying. Like, I'm not even a Stoke fan. Why would I hate him? I'm just saying he's a stopgap that certainly will have his career ended when freaking Mbappe walks into the door. He won't even be a backup. This is the last good year of his career. You know what? It's a good payday. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Hazlu's getting paid to end his career in a somewhat, you know, blaze of glory. Not that it's his glory, but he's winning trophies. I'm just afraid Toronto's going to be like, oh, former Real Madrid player came free in the summer because they got Mbappe. And then our striker's Hazelou, and we still have striker problems. So you know what? Yeah, maybe I do have a personal vendetta. Maybe I'm just afraid Bill Manning's a fucking idiot. That's why I'm afraid of. Bill Manning's going to be like, he just won the Champions League and just won La Liga. There's our striker, and he'll be cheap. No, Bill. No, you fucking idiot. No. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. It's more of my hatred for Bill Manning than my hatred for Hazelou. I just could totally see it happening, especially... Maybe it's just more I'm afraid of Bill Manning being a complete idiot instead of, you know... Hazelou being shit. It's more of Bill Manning being a total idiot. Because I could totally just... I saw this happening eight months ago when he signed for Madrid. I'm like, Madrid's going to win the Champions League and win La Liga. He's going to score a couple of goals. And it's going to be enough to be like, oh, he's going to be free because Mbappe is going to sign with him in the summer. So he's going to be free. And then Bill Manning's going to be like, hey, he just won La Liga in the Champions League. Because we know how he loves to peruse transfer market, and we still got a striker problem. Yeah, it's more like, yeah, I could totally see Bill Manning pulling that shit. Way more. And now that it's... <laughs> he wasn't the reason Madrid were winning this year. Let me tell you that much. It was Bellingham. It was Vinicius. Yeah, so. 3-3. Charlotte Independence 3 3. Okay, that's just crazy. Worst. <laughs> Lol. No. He's probably going to San Diego. I agree with that. Probably like where, where Chelsea is. I know. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it, but he still played well overall, though. So it is what it is. Barca doesn't get top 10 in the Prem. Maybe they scratch eighth or ninth, fighting with West Ham, Brian, and Newcastle. I think Barca would be with Chelsea 
like legitimately right next to Chelsea in the Prem for sure. Exactly. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, because Jerome is actually a good team. And besides, what good striker misses a penalty? We know Terrence Boyd is not a good striker. Shouldn't it be in 4 0 make it easier for you to score the penalty? In theory? <laughs> Like, you should score a penalty when you're 4-0 up. I don't care how good the team is or how bad. If you're up 4-0, like, you should be so calm. It's like, yeah, I'm going to slot this mofo. Come on. Like, that's just the way I see it, though. Esmir coming on for New England, personally. That's just the way I see it. To me, if you're up 4-0, it should be 5-0. Charlotte Independence Progress. There you go. No, I just hate Bill Manning. That's why. I could totally see Hazelou being a TFC player in three months because Bill Manning's an absolute idiot. Oh, Mark Anthony K. Here we go. Mark Anthony K. coming on for New England. Hey, Jesus, you're about to get your 2.5 over in the New England game. They just brought on Mark Anthony K. You're about to get your two over. Hey, you're about to get your over 2.5 in the New England game. Just give it about 10 minutes. Just give it about 10 minutes. I'd rather watch Io Akinola. I would rather watch Io Akinola. At least he had a good, like, good season. And really, a three-week span in that season. MLS is back. I'd rather watch Io Akinola. Why do you want to see me suffer? Why do you want to see me suffer? I thought we were done with that. I thought we were done with that this year. Uh, I'll, I'll apologize for calling him mid. I'll apologize for calling him mid. I'll buy his damn jersey. I will buy his jersey. Instantly. Well, we don't have a third jersey this year. I'll buy his jersey before I buy Coelho's or Davey Flores's. Or whoever I didn't put on the parley kit. If he does, I'll apologize by his jersey. On the next on the next home kit, I'll put Hazelou on it. The the parley will have Davy or Alonzo on it, and then I'll wait another year for Alonzo or Davy, the the one I didn't get or third jersey. I don't know. Sixtieth minute, still two nil. I agree with that. Or maybe longer. I mean, I wouldn't complain. I'd be shocked, but I wouldn't complain. 70th minute. Then again, didn't Josie Altador, wasn't Josie Altador flop in the Prem in La Liga and he still ended up being a, our best striker of all time? <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, yes. 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 Because to me personally, again, if you're up 4-0, if you're up by like that many goals and you get a penalty, you should be like, okay, I'll score. Like there's no pressure. There is legitimately no pressure to a penalty up 4-0. Four, four there isn't. If you're up that much, you're winning the game. Like since there's no pressure, you should easily just slot it. Seriously, think about it like that, though. Think about it. If there's no pressure, the problem is the pressure. Now, of course, the keeper may save it. Uh, we think. We think Seba's retired. I, I'm not sure. He may have just been forced retired. I don't know. I think he wants to come back, but he's basically been forced retired. He hasn't said he's retired. But, I mean, at this point, probably forced retired. He would come back if they let him, though. So I wouldn't say completely retired, but it's probably only Toronto. And if they wanted him to come back, which at this point, you know what? Screw it. I, I'd let him play striker. I'd let him play number nine because who, who the hell else? I'd rather have – I love Seba. At this point, you know what? Let him play, for, let him play striker for a year. 
If we're not going to get anybody else, he's still better than Io. He's still probably better than Prince. He probably can press well, too. Um, he may be too short to be a striker, but screw it, you know. Still probably really good on the ball. We need more offensive uh, output anyway. 73rd minute, 1-1, one, one, 60. This is about 10 minutes behind. Club America 3, game over. Here it is. Plays forward. See, I told you, Jesus. Long ball, header, tapped in. Goal, goal, goal. Chiquette. Christian caught it on. Scores. 3-0. Christian caught her on with a tap in. And there's your goal. I told you. I told you it wouldn't take long after Mark Anthony K walked in there. Well, that was about 10 minutes, right? Yep. Christian caught her on. Chicote. Christian caught her on. 3 0, 63rd minute. Relegated. Taps it in off a horrible rebound given up. Cero a tres in the 64th minute. Cero a tres. I mean, let him play, though. Let him play. South Carolina Heat did add a FIFA thing and put a mid midfielder as their starting keeper versus Charlotte tonight. Well, if it works. <laughs> well, if it works. 74th minute. Well, if it works. I was pissed. <laughs> I was pissed. I'm like, I had a really good friend who was uh, talking about watching the Confederations Cup, who is got a connection to Germany. I was like, how did you see your C team beat Mexico's A team? This is when Mexico was good, or at least I thought so. I'm like, shouldn't y'all lose? <laughs> shouldn't y'all be losing to Mexico's 18? Because <laughs> those certainly aren't the world champions. Man, I wasn't happy. Goretzka looked like Zidane that day. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And then they asked, like, why are you cheering for Mexico? I'm like, I'm just cheering for CONCACAF. <laughs> like, why would I cheer for Germany? <laughs> like. Of course. Of course I'm cheering for the CONCACAF teams. Just like I do now. Like, why would I cheer for Germany? 76 minute. I expect it way better. They beat Chile in the final two as a Mexican. I forgave them. Yeah, I, I rooted for him in the final. I did root for Germany in the final because, well, I just did. I mean, Chile was thoughtfully good there. Columbus is bottling it here. No, they came back. Player down. Morris, oh, he's off. Okay, now you got a point. Aiden Morris is off with a second yellow card in the 76th minute. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yep, Aiden Morris is off for the last 76 to 86 
14 minutes of the game, plus stoppage time. Second yellow card for Aiden Morris. He's off. 70, 67th minute. 10 minutes behind New England. Kluba Meditar behind. Six seventh minute. Well, it was the way the number was printed, not the number itself. The way the printing looked is what made it controversial and banned. Not the number itself. Now, yeah, whatever. No, I would legitimately rather pull my hair out <laughs> and probably push my fingers into my eyes. That would be absolutely boring. I agree with that. Triple sub for Tigres. Oziel Herrera coming on. Sebastian Cordova coming on. Triple sub. Well, they can't. Why is Morris still trying to plead his case? You can't. They can't check a second yellow. 78th minute. I was happy about Mexico beating Germany, yeah. At the World Cup, yes. I was happy about that. Ugh. 69th minute. So we'll still be on about 10 minutes after this one goes full time. Because, of course, this is 10 minutes behind. Aiden Morris is off, and we're going to see Jones come on for Aiden Morris, and he's not happy. Tigress has like 10 fouls and not a single card. I agree with that. Ref's a joke. Henestrosa off for Jones. I hope Columbus at least draws. I saw where the scabs went. No, these are real CONCACAF refs. That was never a problem in CONCACAF. Corner here for New England. Free kick for Tigres. New England's actually attacking. Shot over the bar. Free kick goes over the bar. I think we all did. We all did. Okay? We all did. This is ridiculous. I agree. Eightieth minute, ten minutes to go, corner. Probably. Ten minutes to go plus stops time in the Columbus match. Spalding is off for New England for Lima. That's out for corner. For Tigres Linez. This is a big a one one's honestly a win at this point for Columbus because the referee's been trying to screw them all night. Columbus has been playing well. If they lose, I think it's heartbreaking. Over the bar, just barely, and it's a goal kick. Man, I hope Columbus holds on. They have to at least draw. If they draw, they either get a penalty shootout or go through in the second leg. So 1-1 one, one in too bad. Unless it's nil-nil, then of course they're out. But very likely if they draw to be scoring. So, you know. 81st minute. Fell back for South Korea because that 2018 World Cup group was a group of death. Yeah, I remember when that happened. Lainez is off. Jinyak is off. Linez for Garza. Oziel Herrera's on. NYCFC2 is going to the third round of the U.S. Open Cup. Good for them. New York is blue. Whether it's the main teams or the kids, New York is blue. 82nd minute. Header. 
kicked away. Tigres attacking, trying to find a goal, because if they do, well, they win the game. They make it a lot easier to go through the second round or the semifinals. Um, the next round. Playing forward. Jones. Good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. Rossi. Rossi. Against the run of play. Down a man. Can Columbus? No. They don't. Good tackle. That should not be a foul. And it is a yellow card. No. I don't think so. Is Marcelo Flores playing? Yes. 83rd minute. Jones gets a yellow card for absolutely no reason. That is not a foul. That is not a foul. He got all ball, and then he runs through it. That's called momentum. That is not a foul. That is not violent conduct. That is not a foul. <sighs> what a horrible call. Nah, this ref is shit. Horrible call. Another yellow card. 3-0, Club America, 3-0, 0-3, 74th minute, but that one's over. Behind on Vicks. Michigan Stars are up 1-0 over Minnesota, too. 101st minute. See if Minnesota gets a goal at some point. 84th minute. Now, nah, I'm pissed. I'm, I'm legitimately pissed. That was a horrible call. That was a horrible call. What? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, 84th minute, nah, nah. Reyes and Valdez coming on for America. Salvador Reyes and Diego Valdez coming on. 84th minute, this ref's a joke. This ref is a joke. Do you think New England can pull Liverpool against America? No, because why would they do that to Azteca? They're not, no, they're done, they're done. But we figured that much. We figured that much. Um, we figured it would be Pachuca, Club America in the semifinal, probably, on that side of the bracket. Yay! We're not getting no hit tonight, and we're winning. Yay. 85th minute. End of the ninth. Wait, we won? Holy shit, that's a rebound. And we won a one-run game. We're not back, but at least we won. Huh. 85th minute. They literally want Miami to face the Mexican teams. Well, that's pretty much what's going to happen for the next three rounds, probably. Well, it could be Columbus-Miami, but how do you feel about the no-hitter yesterday? Mad. <laughs> Vrioni off for Bobby Wood. Bobby Wood. 85th minute. Astros lost. One and five. I can't believe it. The Astros won one game this year, and it was a no-hitter against the Toronto Blue Jays. But hey, they're only one and five, though. Sometimes you win. Most times, well, it depends. You win a third of your games, you lose a third of your games. What matters in the season is what you do with the other third in baseball. So I guess they were bound to win at least one of those games. It's about to come. For them. When's the last time you had Taco Bell? I think a month ago? It's gotta be like that. 76 minute, 3 0 Club America, 3 a 0, 86 minute. I'd say about a month ago. I know, I saw you told me. 86 minute. If I have any, we'll see. Cross in. Header. I don't think that full metal jacket disc is a 2006, 2009. I bought it in 2017. I don't think fee stock it was used. So, 87th minute. What I get? Three hard tacos, meat, cheese, lettuce, mild sauce. I put the mild sauce in there, of course. And a nachos bel grande. Beef, nachos, bel grande. 2v1 for Columbus and wide. Feels like they got screwed. 
87th minute. Speaking of discs that fail, do any of us remember Divix discs? Or those, uh, what were they called? Red? There's an Oddity Archive episode about it. Just look up Oddity Archive Divx. D-I-V-X. Yeah. It's a good episode. So maybe while you're waiting for my RSR to come up, watch some Oddity Archive. Not my show. I just really love it. Not my show, but I really love it. It's a good show. So maybe watch that episode. Probably take an hour. Say, maybe you should also watch the Preview God episode. Or just whatever you choose. And then watch my RSR. And then watch more Oddity Archive. Eighty eighth minute. Two minutes plus stoppage time to go in the T Res Columbus game. I think I will do a double review for both games. You think I'll win the Copa del Rey on Saturday? Mallorca or Athletic Bilbao? Mallorca. Let's go, Kyle Laren's boys. We want Kyle Laren to win a trophy. 78th minute. Tres a cero. America. Or cero a tres. I ain't got much to say about that game, so. That's a good episode, too. Brunetta off for Cordova for Tigres. Gignac for off for Quinones. Yeah, I could do a double review on one video. I've done it before. I've done it before. Did you not see that Argentina-Costa Rica video plus the World Cup qualifier video? I just did one a week ago. <laughs> I just did one a week ago. Pretty much. Oh, yeah. Javier Aguirre. Is well. El Vasco. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. El Vasco. Is Mallorca's manager. Yes. 89th minute. I don't, I didn't, I don't know, actually. I thought you'd know that. You're the Barca fan here. El Vasco Aguirre. Yes, he's the Mallorca manager. 90th minute. I was sad because Argentina won. Because you didn't get the WrestleMania review. 4 OFC. 4 SCU beat Timbers, just lost to Lubbock 2-0 right now. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You know how to get to Lubbock? 90th minute. We'll get a sub. Juan Pablo Vigon coming on for Gordon Hahn. 90th minute. How much stoppage time for this Columbus Tigress game? Six minutes. Six minutes. Yeah, I thought Rory would be pissed about that. Because he's like, well, damn, if the Timbers 2 could have just won, we would have probably won. Two. Well, I don't know. Who knows? But I think 4OSC was like an amateur team that got in through the open qualifying, right? Lubbock's in Texas, but where's the question I can't answer? I was referencing the Mike Leach scene from Friday Night Lights. We talked to the coach on Friday Night Lights. You got to find your inner pirate. That's what I was referencing. Because he was back, that was back when either he just had gotten fired from Texas Tech or, which is in Lubbock, or he was the coach at that point. About to get fired, or he did get fired. Rest in peace, Coach Leach. Offside anyways. Arston coming on for Columbus in the last four minutes of the game. I hope they at least hold on to the draw. Jason Russell Rowe coming off. Well, Liga Mekis fans like winning thanks to the refs. I don't care. Refs help Miami now. Oh, don't worry. The rest are going to help Miami tomorrow. Don't worry. They are. Nevada and Rodriguez coming on for a Medica in the last eight minutes plus stoppage time. Well, it's possible. It's 86, 96. 
or be 86. It's 10 minutes of stoppage time. Yeah, it would be 10 minutes. See, League's Cup was only one match for League MX. I watched League's Cup last year. I covered the damn thing. Very, very uh, extensively. 92nd minute. But yeah, Liga Amekis got extinguished pretty quickly in that tournament. So it's over for the Revs. What do you think? Yeah, they're done. But I knew they were done going into the tie, let alone tonight. They're done. You knew they weren't going to win this. They're the worst team in the league. Didn't Tigres tie Vancouver, Orlando, went on to destroy them at home? Yes. One match for everyone. Yeah, it was one match for everyone. It was at MLS stadiums, though. Or third-party stadiums, if uh, one MLS team at the game. No, actually, no. I think that Classico was at uh, Shell Energy, which is Houston. Hell no, they weren't going to win this. I agree. MLS also wins because of the referees. I mean, yeah, all the rules of League's Cup benefited MLS. I'm not going to lie, but... If you can win, I mean, any given su any given Sunday, right? <laughs> like, if it's a 90-minute game, a Mexican team could still end up winning. So I, I think it's sort of an excuse to say that every, uh, every rule benefited MLS. No, no. I think Cucho will be back. I think Columbus will – I don't think they'll lose badly. They could still lose, but I don't think they're going to lose their ass. Like – 3-1, 4-1. No, they could still lose. 94th minute, but they won't lose badly. There's a difference. 94th minute. Two minutes to go plus of stoppage time in the Columbus Tigress game. 7-8. At least four t minutes plus in the New England game once this is blown. The whistle's blown, I should say. 95th minute, Schulte playing the ball forward. One and a half minutes to go. Minnesota 2 bottled it. Michigan Stars from Nisa have two. Oh, there's Michigan. Didn't they have, aren't they going to have a problem? No, it's the South Georgia. Oh, the team's playing Tormenta is the one who has the travel problems. Yeah. Free kick, Columbus, with one minute to go. Oh, what a save by Malagon with five minutes to go. Leagues Cup is definitely unbalanced in favor of MLS, but the other thing I don't like is they get Champs Cup spots from it. Most of the teams who win are going to be ones who already have a spot. But it helps other teams downstream, though, you know. So ask New England. That's the only reason they're there is they got a downstream spot. You actually may have a point considering New England didn't even deserve to be there. You know what? You may have a point. You may have a point. But it had it had to happen because six spots are given by the Central American Cup. Three spots are given by the Caribbean Cup. League's Cup is taking that spot in North America that there is for Caribbean and Central. Now, could we have more Central American Cups? Uh, teams, Central American teams, and more Caribbean teams? Yes, but do you think CONCACAF wants that? Do you think CONCACAF truly wants there to be more a Central American and Caribbean teams than needed? Leagues Cup is probably the reason why Central American and Caribbean teams have nine spots. Because League's Cup gives three more spots to MLS or Mexico. So, because of that. So, it's probably a good thing that uh, League MX or the Central American Cup and Caribbean Cup has the spots they do for that reason. 97th minute. Still going in the Columbus match. Header. Saved by Malagon. 97th minute. So much 
flares and smoke. Well, yeah, but it probably would be more fair if those League's Cup spots became more Central American and Caribbean spots, but at least a playoff. I think Canada has too many spots. Their league is still young and unproven. No. And it's full time. 1-1, one, one, it's full time between Columbus and Tigres. Uno, uno, esta noche. I think both sides would take that. Columbus does have a chance to win with a scoring draw or even get to extra time with a scoring draw next week. So it's not too bad. Pizarro sold that good. Yeah, that's why he's pissed. 88th minute. Goal kick. Pathetic Tigres left smirking. I didn't see you hating when MLS robbed. I didn't hate. I ain't hating. 88th minute. See how much stoppage time we get. Second legs, nil-nil draw. Tigres wins on away goals. I know. It just ended. 1-1, one, one, full time. Uno, uno. I know, but that's the only draw that Tigres would advance with, at least within 90 minutes. If it's a 1-1 one, one draw, we go to extra time and possible penalties. If it's a scoring draw that's 2-2 two, two and above, Columbus goes through. I do admit that, but that's because Messi. It's not because Miami, it's because Messi. If Messi wasn't in this league, they wouldn't give a shit about Miami. I am straight. I am straight. I don't just think it. I am. I know. I know and I am straight. Ninetieth minute. Mexico stomps MLS and Mexico usually so crew has a small chance. I don't think they'll get stomped though. This isn't twenty twelve. I swear Pumas needs to do better. I hope they make it next year to this tournament. I hope so too. So we're getting a full Mexican semifinal? Yes. Six minutes of stoppage time. Another six minutes. Full Mexican semifinal, huh? 4 0, Club America. Goal by Brian Rodriguez. I was going to say British Broadcasting Corporation. 4 0, Club America. Brian Rodriguez scores. Wait, well, wait, you didn't get your over over there. Uh. Ninety first minute, ninety plus one. Set with cuatro. Just a great run by Rodriguez. What a great run and just pops it past Earl Edwards Jr. Beautiful shot. Four nil, set with cuatro, and five more minutes to go. Yes. If they get a penalty, yes. Not surprised. It's Jover. Clue of kind of light work. Yep. Yeah, because Columbus got screwed. <laughs> double review after this one's over. We're going to go with a double review. Because why not? I ain't got much to say about this one anyway. So, you know what? It's better because I had planned to just review this game, but the severe weather changed it. We watched both games at 8. And let's be honest, I ain't got much to say about this one. So, exactly. That's also what I would say. Benzema Bell, Cristiano. Yeah, that's also what I would say. That, that also comes first in my brain. Good night, KP. Good night. 
That's what I think of first. Well, that and British Broadcasting Corporation. No more for the second leg. It's over. Nah, they'll be fine. They played well without him. New England isn't built for CONCACAF. They're not even built for MLS. They suck. They just suck. They're trash. But this is the trash year for uh, uh, Caleb Porter. Next year, I'm sure they'll be better. For the one year they win the damn uh, whatever MLS Cup. Ninety third minute, three minutes to go. Got a first leg over in Columbus, one one uno uno. Three minutes to go here for New England versus Club America. It'll be four nil probably, unless something crazy happens in New England. They still wouldn't win, but they do. New England can't do shit during the Champs Cup. They're always getting blown out by Mexican teams. Or embarrassed, like the Pumas tie. I don't even know how they got to the quarters, because they didn't play a Mexican team until the quarters. They played Independiente and won 4-0. They played Ala Valencia, won 4-0. Hold on. It was a 1-1 draw. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. 5-1 on aggregate. There we go. I forgot to put that on there. Huh, interesting. Yeah, they didn't play a Mexican team until the quarters. Two minutes to go. Well, they're going to win an MLS Cup next year because of uh, Caleb Porter, because that's how it normally goes. Nice. Man, I'm happy, Man, I'm happy for you. 95th minute. 95th minute. Header, cleared, one minute to go plus stop, well, one minute to go of stoppage time. Header, cleared. Well, we got to play six minutes of stoppage time. I mean, 3 0 was enough to stop the game anyway. One more minute. You know, GABO, I think I saw your. Profile pic is a meme on the Liga Mackey's Reddit a couple of days ago. <laughs> 96 minute or 30 seconds to go. Twenty five seconds. Place forward Lima. Shot. Oh, what a good defensive clearance by Lichnovsky corner. Yep, I saw that. We were watching both games at the same time. Fair enough, because Tigres were about... The refs were very much favoring Tigres, I swear. Columbus was playing very well. They should have won. Ninety-six minute. Love to hear it. Honestly, I'd, I'd like it, to be honest, if that was the case. I'm a fan of Tyler Breeze. 96 minute. That's awesome. 96 minute, and it is full time. Full time is 4 0. Cero a cuatro. In New England, Club America wins. Pretty obvious. Um, full time. There you go. With that being said, there's your first two games of the quarter finals. Tomorrow we got two games. Miami at 7, Pachuca, Herediano at 9, and that's the one I'm reviewing because no weather is going to change that. With that being said, I'll see you later. I'll see you within the hour for the reviews of both these matches.
There you go. If you like this video, like and share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification one. Subscribe. Send some chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in play the Share us friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you within the hour for the double review. And there you go. I'm rounding them out. Peace. See ya.